The back is examined with the patient standing, seated, and recumbent. Begin with the patient standing with as much of the back exposed as possible. Inspect for abnormalities in the skin, such as discoloration, and the structures, such as scoliosis, kyphosis, or asymmetry or deviation suggesting muscle spasm. Observe the patient walking. Ask the patient to bend forward and touch the floor while keeping the knees straight. Note symmetry and range of motion. Inspect the back from behind as the patient bends forward. Look for asymmetry, including the rib cage, subtle signs of scoliosis and kyphosis, and deformities. Palpate the pelvic brim on both sides to assess symmetry. Palpate the entire vertebral column for tenderness and deformities. Continue by palpating the sacrum, coccyx, and adjacent structures such as the sacroiliac joint and iliolumbar ligament. With the patient supine, test straight leg raising by flexing each entire lower extremity with the knee extended. You can also look for pain in the contralateral leg when one leg is flexed, called the crossed straight leg raising test, a more specific sign of sciatica. Another way to test for sciatica is to stretch the sciatic nerve. Lift the entire lower extremity, resting the lower leg on your shoulder. Then slightly flex the knee and elevate the leg further and press on the sciatic nerve posteriorly just above the knee while passively extending the knee. In the presence of sciatica, this is painful. Conclude the examination with the patient sitting. In addition to checking neurologic function, knee and ankle jerk reflexes, motor and sensory function, passively extend the knees, called concealed straight leg raising. This will elicit symptoms in true sciatica. <laughs>